stoop to our kind again. Indeed. Or are you not too proud to make some coin? No promises. But I'll hear what you have to say. Since you stormed off, we don't have anyone who can quite work your magic. If you know what I mean. I sent some men to fence a bit of cargo down at the docks. I haven't seen them since. I pay good silver for the safe return of them, or the goods. Is this anyone I know? When you left, we had to take on new Ferelden. Volunteers. Lad named Price was leading them. No one of your caliber. Consider it a deal. Good. Go to the docks tonight. My boy Price was supposed to meet our buyers from the Carta there. Maybe you can find out what happened. aren't safe at night. We should do something about that. Coachery men had me for sure. I guess the whole thing was a trap. There were no dwarves when I went to make the trade, just coterie waiting to kill us. They got the rest of the boys. I ran. I was hoping they wouldn't find me here, but they did. Is that a Fenril's rival criminal guild or something? More like she's their rival. A small one at that. What I hear is the coterie controls most crime in Kirkwall. And they don't like competition. You're a bit young to be doing this. I'm 15. But I can usually pass for a man. My mama was ripped in two by one of them big horned darkspawn. It's just me and my sisters now. Working for a Thenril's the only way to feed the girls. Why not take what a Thenril gave you and start fresh somewhere outside of Kirkwall? What do you mean? There's a lot of farmland in the Free Marches. Surely there's somewhere you and your sisters can find honest work. My father was a farmer. Before the Darkspawn got him. I'd rather do that than work for a Fenril. I... I'll get my sisters. Please, make sure she doesn't come after us.
here to socialize, or did you bring my goods? I rescued your boy and killed the Coterie. But your property was long gone. Coterie. I should have figured. They've got a lock on all trade with the Dwarves. If I'd had someone decent on the job, they'd have dug into it first, not walked in blindly. Well, no cargo, no coin. If you're ever looking for more work, I keep my books right here. Feel free to sign yourself up. the city, outside the rules. That's what they like to think. Master Hawk, Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Can I get the details before I agree? There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. And you've allowed this? I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. I would not like to see this become a massacre. Thank you. Your compassion does you credit. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. Huh. How are we going to give up the mages to the circle? Circles are like a pain now. I don't like the circle whatsoever. And it seems in the beginning, the circle's been doing something. If it, uh, what Varg said was true when he was getting questioned by that uh, guard lady.
I was going to die down here in this... this tomb. Are you with the Templars? Please, I need to go back to the Circle. I never wanted to get involved in this. Not when he started making those... those... things. Who is he? Decimus. It was his decision. He kept saying the Templars would label us blood mages if we fled. Why not use it if it's our best tool? He slit his wrist and the magic... It rose from the blood and woke the skeletons in the cave. I ran. Decimus is wrong. Blood magic is a work of evil, not just a power the Templars keep from us for spite. The Templar Thrask is waiting outside. Surrender to him and you won't be hurt. I surrender. Take me to the Templars. I don't want anything to do with this blood magic. The rest of them, they're still following Decimus. He's gone mad. I think he'd kill us all just to take the Templars down. Take us back to the circle. Decimus, no. Stay your hand. These are no Templars. What do I care what shield they carry? If they challenge us, the Templars will meet the call. against your own. That man was a blood mage. I don't have to be part of the circle to know that is wrong. Decimus gave us the courage to face the Templars. Without him, we would be prisoners still. Alright, so we'll continue to talk on the next part. See you then.